first ever meeting between two and three para in the army boxing final. The clash has been moved from Aldershot to accommodate the event, which has had Colchester Garrison buzzing. All this week, we'll be talking to some of the men about how they're preparing for one of the biggest sporting nights in the regiment's history. But first, we sent two heavyweights for, of our own to preview the contest. Someone's just described you as a heavyweight. Are you happy with that? Well, I think I prefer the term big hitter, actually, Jules. Yeah, yeah, I, I can see that. I can see that. Now, I'm going to be putting my considerable weight behind two para. How about you? Uh, yeah, I'm here to check out the all-conquering three para. Fine. I'll see you in the ring. Two para start as the underdogs. These guys are fighting fit and feel confident that this could be their year. The guys don't know fail. It's inbuilt from day one for being paratroopers in depot and all the way through to what they're doing now. They don't fail. Three para have had a better record recently in regards to the finals. And uh, I, I do believe we're slightly underdogs, but I, I think we're, uh, we're a better, better leveled, better advanced underdogs at the moment. As part of 16 Air Assault Brigade, the battalion have been busy with Exercise Joint Warrior, the largest multinational military training exercise to take place in Europe this year. Last week, some 1,000-plus paratroopers of the Air Assault Task Force were joined by French troops in Scotland, being mobilised to be ready to fly into action by parachute and helicopter. But it's a sign of how highly regarded the upcoming fight night is that during such a time, the boxers have been given time away from the day-to-day -to, -day to train. Uh, we're very lucky that the fact that the team are uh, separated from their normal day-to-day -day of military training type of tasks and, and uh, life. Uh, they're actually in full-time training and have been for some time now. Expect hostility. Competitors from both battalions have stopped talking to their friends on the other team and expect a brutal display of boxing. This is a regiment often referred to as one of the toughest in the British Army. Julian Evans has been looking into their history to see what makes them so tough and what it means to wear the maroon beret. Ever since their formation during the Second World War, the Parachute Regiment have been involved in virtually all of Britain's military campaigns. Renowned for their feats on the battlefield, Field Marshal Montgomery said they have shown themselves to be as tenacious and determined in defence as they are courageous in attack. These are attributes that apply to soldiers in war, but also to those competing in the boxing ring. Three para have a proud pugilism pedigree. They've won the Army Championship five times in the last eight years. They could have won it more had it not been for operational deployments. As the most successful unit in Army boxing history and the reigning champions, they will look to defend their crown next week. But for those taking part, there is more than just battalion pride at stake. You have a reputation as not only a member of the 3rd Battalion of the Parachute Regiment, but also as that individual. Um, because, you know, boxing is just one side of what they do. They still soldier, um, you know, when they're not in the ring. They still go on exercise, they still go on operations. As a fighting force, three para have won battle honours in Kosovo, Iraq and Afghanistan in recent years. Young recruits who aspire to become a paratrooper know they are joining a special breed of soldier. Earning